Ask most Americans where their food comes from, and more often than not, they'll simply say the supermarket. Yet with most of us just a short walk or drive away from modern grocery stores, with aisles and aisles loaded with every possible food you could imagine, it is easy to lose sight of the fact that more than 80% of the food filling those shelves was still put there by the sweat and hard work of American family farmers. There's about 2.2 million farms in the United States and about 96% of those are owned by family farm operators. And of the total food produced in the United States, about 75% of it comes from family farmers like myself. Despite the volume of food that does indeed come from family farms, American family farmers still face many challenges. Competition from foreign markets, industrial mega farms, even global climate change are all combining to put the squeeze on family farms, putting not only our nation's food supply and environment at risk, but the very survival of family farms. Well, family farms not only provide food and fiber, but we're also big supporters in rural communities and we're leaders in rural communities also, as well as agriculture's always been known as the, really the true environmentalist. And these days, agriculture's even producing quite a bit of fuel, which helps with the domestic national support of this country. For more than 100 years, family farmers have had someone in their corner fighting for them. The National Farmers Union, since 1902, the Farmers Union has fought to protect and improve the livelihoods of family farmers, fishermen, ranchers, and rural communities. When National Farmers Union was organized 110 years ago, it was because farmers faced a very concentrated marketplace where they didn't get a fair shake. Uh, they didn't have a good market to sell their products into because it was there were very few markets. They didn't have a good place to buy their inputs because again, very concentrated marketplace, not a lot of opportunities. Today we have the same situation and in many ways what Farmers Union has done over the years to try and mitigate against those issues is to form cooperatives which provide competition in the marketplace. It's a very, very important part of our history. This idea of forming cooperatives, a business structure that gives all of the members in that business uh, an equal voice. Well, farming is really the backbone of America and as we've seen lately with the local food movement, more and more consumers are really wanting to know where their food came from and particularly the farmers that grew it. And it's not just about knowing where the food comes from, but really knowing the farmer and trying to build a relationship with them. So that looks like people shopping at local farmers markets, maybe a local butcher, uh, really trying to get a sense of the people that are growing their food and, and wanting to support rural America as that backbone of America. There's a great interest in buying produce that's right around the corner. There's a great interest in finding our meats in stores right nearby us. There's a great interest in our grandmother's recipes, in our grandfather's practices. I think there's just a great interest in understanding really where does our food come from and in the process really understanding the quality of our food and the safety of our food. After all, if it's right in front of us, we can understand it a lot better. We always feel, as farmers and, and, and agriculturalists, that the moral ethic and the moral fiber of this country was built in rural America, and that at the end of the day, we're the backbone. And so obviously, when you see a decline in rural America, we feel that there's going to be de decline in total America. And certainly, our rural economies, it's important that we maintain our young people in these, in these areas and that they come back and farm. It's important that consumers understand the role that family farmers and ranchers play in America today. Not only do they support our rural economies, but they also support the urban centers where so many people live by providing the foods that we all depend upon. Without family farmers, we would not have a strong country today. Ways that consumers can support farmers directly is by understanding that for every dollar that they currently spend on food, only 20 cents makes it into the hands of farmers. The other 80 cents uh, goes to corporate companies, processors, and middlemen, um, and not directly to the farming communities. But by shopping directly at farmers markets, a food co-op, or joining a community-supported agriculture program, not only do you get to know where your food is coming from, but you're directly supporting them with your every dollar. National Farmers Union is a relevant organization 
because for the last 110 years, we've represented the best interests of rural communities. We're a family farm organization. Our policy comes from the grassroots up and we're interested in not only protecting rural America, but providing a high quality, stable food product for the American consumer. Please visit NFU.org today to learn more about the challenges faced by American family farmers and learn about what you can do to support our efforts to help those that put the food on your table and clothes on your back.